Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited that you're here today. I have a clean and simple fall thank you card for you today, and I'm featuring the Painted Harvest stamp set that will be available on September 1st from Stampin' Up! All the supplies I'm using here today are linked below the video and over on my blog, and I also have some cool quick tips on my blog as well. Okay, I'm using the Lovely Words Framelits. These can be found in the annual catalog, and they have different words inside a shape, but I'm going to show you how to use those words today without the shape. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stamping here, and I'm using my Misty tool. The Misty tool is a stamp positioning tool, and it just really allows you to, I don't really even know how to explain it. Basically, you can mass produce way quicker, and it allows you to kind of like put things in a good spot before stamping them and then if they don't stamp correctly you can just re-stamp it without having to fuss about lining it up. So I'm stamping first in crushed curry and then Cajun craze and I'm creating just this really beautiful flower image. It's a two-step stamping image and then I've got uh, pear pizzazz and old olive for this little leaf piece poking out. For the center of the flower, I'm using Early Espresso ink, and then I'm stamping all the little dots in the center with Early Espresso. I took my gel pen, my Signo Uniball gel pen, which is my favorite gel pen, and I started making just little bitty dots inside the center to give a little bit more interest to the center of the sunflower and to kind of highlight it a little bit because it was all really dark in there. So by doing this, it just added a little bit more dimension to the project and really kind of made that center pop. Okay, the next step is to add the sentiment and it says, I am thankful for you. And then above the sentiment, I'm going to be adding a embellishment that I create on my own. Now this is, um, could be created two ways. So either you can ink it and heat emboss it or you could just cut it out of gold foil those are your two options um, and I'm going to show you how to do the embossing part so first things first is to cut the sentiment out of the oval so this is how the die actually cuts and then if you want the word you have to cut it out so I went ahead and cut that out and then I'm going to use my Versamark ink to cover the entire word with ink uh, Versamark ink is kind of a sticky ink and it works to create a sticky surface that you could then apply embossing powder to. So I'm going to get that all inked up really, really good, making sure it's covered really well because I don't want any spots that are not going to be covered. I have my gold embossing powder here and I'm just going to open that up. Um, I keep all my embossing powders in these, um, containers. I can't remember the name of them, but I'll link to them over on my blog. And then I'm using my uh, Cricut. That's what they are. These are tweezers from Cricut or Provocraft. I'm using those to hold my word above and then just sprinkle the embossing powder right over the top, which is super fun. And then I'll just kind of shake off the excess embossing powder there and I noticed one little spot I didn't quite get, so I went ahead and added that. And then I'm just going to be able to heat set that. So I heat set that and I cleaned up my workspace um, and this is what it looks like when it's finished. So I have this really beautiful um, sentiment to add to my project. And the cool thing about it is it kind of, it's 3D, meaning it's popped up kind of from the, um, surface so it's not just a flat stamp so it ends up saying friend I am thankful for you and I just love that and so these are I made a whole bunch of these I made 17 of these cards and I'm just gonna have them on hand for thank yous for different things and then this is the difference I wanted to show you really quick between the two it's really hard to tell here you really can't even see a difference but in person you can see a difference between the gold foil paper and the heat embossing. The heat embossing has a little more texture and it's a little bit thicker. So I'm using fast fuse adhesive and I'm going to layer this piece down to my gold foil paper that I've cut. 
By the way, the piece that I stamped on was cut at three and three quarters by five inches. And the gold foil piece was cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So now I'm going to center it and layer it down here on this card base and I'm done. Isn't that a cute card? I really loved how it turned out. Very clean and simple. Fall, it just makes me feel happy. I like lots of white space. White space is, a, is something that soothes my soul almost. So here's the card all finished in its entirety. And it's just, like I said, it's just a really beautiful fall thank you card and super easy to make. Thanks so much for tuning in today. You can click on either one of the videos that you see here to watch them. Click on the little circle that has my face in it to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up, comment on my video. I always enjoy getting comments. And I hope that you check out my blog at loveandstampin.com for all the additional details um, on today's video. Again, uh, thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you soon.